Hello everyone, I am Silverite and welcome to this playthrough of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Today we will be role playing Encryl. She's a Hellspawn Tiefling. She is a range, Flame Warden Ranger, so she's going to be more melee based. Um, melee based. The background behind her is she grew up in the river kingdoms along the Gudrun River around the border of the Stolen Lands. Incorporating Kingmaker, she was there, she grew up around the time of the blooming, which affected her village. A lot of people in the village, including her parents, siblings, died from it. She survived, and when she became of age, she decided to just travel, see where she ends up. She traveled, did a few jobs for some coin, and she just thought well, she's just a traveler. Because of that, her favorite enemy starting off will be Faye. Even though I know that this is main like demons, like I said, this is a role play playthrough, so all of the choices including leveling up and um progression will be based on the story background and so forth she as right now she's chaotic neutral but every time i play these games i tend to veer off that whatever i start off with based on the story and what i believe the character will do her deity is Caden Kalyan, which is a god of bravery, freedom, chaos, travel. She gets Scorch Scorching Ray. This will be a turn based playthrough. Mainly because when I played Kingmaker, I did real time repulse, it was fine. But once I got to around the level 10, 11, I realized I had no idea what the abilities were. I never used them or spells. It was just easier to use real time, to use turn based. And then I actually started learning the classes and the spells and everything. It makes it a lot, a little easier as the you progress and you get more abilities i have done through the ashes i haven't i've been a minor playthrough of this game i've only i stopped around level level two i believe i mean level <laughs> act two and i stopped mainly because i really wasn't happy with the character I was playing I made a lot of bad choices not really understanding the class or in the back in the background but this is gonna be more in-depth I will try to read what's on the screen if there's text in between dialogue if it's actually something that's spoken, I'll ignore it if it if it's already implied. And this is it. This is Ikria, and let's start.
Hey, somebody! We got a wounded fighter. Can we get a healer over here? My, my, would you look at this. But why would you drag a wounded fighter into the middle of the festival square? Couldn't she be carted off somewhere else like, oh, I don't know, an infirmary? Or an accommodating ditch? Make room, everyone! Step back! Now, what's the matter? What happened to her? The wound looks nasty. Who did this to her? You hear the stern voice of an elderly man, but you're too weak to even turn your head to look in his direction. Demons, prelate! We found her barely alive outside the walls of Canabris. The walls, you say? Enemy doesn't usually stray so close to the city. Must fortify the defenses. And you, hold fast. Don't die. We'll see you right. We'll get you patched up now. But first, you there, guard. Take her weapons. Bearing arms is not permitted during the festival. Wounded or not, everyone must abide by the rules. She can get her things back after the festival. Inheritor, leader of our troops, the sharpened edge of our blades and the unyielding strength of our armor. Iomade, I beseech you, grant your mercy, heal her wounds. The magic enveloped you, but your pain lessens only slightly. Grit your teeth in silence. My powers are not enough here. Someone call for Terendalev. You there. Yes, you. Stop dithering and gobbing and make yourself useful. Go and get Terendalev. Prelate, surely there is somebody else here better suited to running errands. The lady raises her head in an affectation of surprise. I'll get her! Terendalev! Has anyone seen Terendalev? Be quick about it before it's too late. Now, who are you? I don't remember seeing you before, and I have an excellent memory for faces. I am a traveler. I was just passing by. Just passing by? And how am I to know that you're not a demon spy? Or worse! My dear prelate, please, for the sake of the festivities, stop interrogating this poor woman. She has been through enough already. Go on. I'll take care of her. All right, as you wish. You are our protector, and a dragon at that, so I shall defer to your wisdom. But be on your guard. I've been informed she was wounded near Canabras. That means the demons are prowling just outside the walls, and the city is crawling their spies others may be able to relax on this holiday but not you or i not the defenders of the city muttering discontently the old man walks off pry loose the grudging grip of pain Cast off the veil of suffering flesh. Let light and life go forth in triumph to repel the skulking shade of death. There. A beautiful silvered haired woman leans over you. She seems ageless, her face wholly unlined, but centuries old sadness gleams in her eyes. The longer she speaks, the stronger her voice becomes. 
What happened to me? I do not know yet, and that troubles me. I am not entirely sure what the demons did to you. This wound is no ordinary injury, and it was inflicted by no ordinary weapon. I have rid you of your pain and restored your strength, but only time will allow you to heal fully. Who are you? My name is Terendalev. I am the protector of the city. Thank you for help for helping I me. Your thanks. But my work is not yet done. Oh, you're really a dragon? You don't believe me. Perhaps I should retake my true form and engulf this square with my ice breath to win your trust. <laughs> Pay no mind to my current guise. I appear this way when I walk among the people. I would hamper the festivities if I tried to attend in my true form. Can I go? Certainly, but be careful. I have managed to get you back on your feet, but I have not healed you fully. Alas, sooner or later, your pain will return. But do not be discouraged. You will recover, I promise you that. Tomorrow, come to the cathedral and say that you are expected by Terendalev, protector of Canabras. We will find a way to help you. But for now, put this out of your mind and enjoy the festival. They are all too rare in this time of war, and merriment is one of the best medicines. They are the city. Scorching ray. Turn that off. And acrobatics. Shut the movement. Sample the special festival drink. Throw a dart. Hit the mannequin. I heard deity. It's also the where is the deity selection? Oh, right there. The god of alcohol and Incria loves good drink, especially after a long day. So first, she'll get that drink. I'm in. On days like this, it's as if the war doesn't even exist. Desna grants us peace. Jana Adori, girl, Sila. Tap. Pour me another one. Let's make this a day to remember. I do love a festival. When we win our victory feast, we'll put this one to shame. Now, be warned, I live with my hand on the, with my finger on the tab key. I love a drink, me, especially when the city's footing the bill. What do you say? Another round?
girl. They should let us off to enjoy the festivals. Instead, we're digging ditches and training day in and day out. Janet Aldori. I've been a crusader five whole days already, and I love it. The future's gonna be grand indeed. Uh, I know I saw. Here we go, the mannequin. I love how you can tell the difference between the nobles and the regular citizens. Sakam one. Right in the jaw. You call that a punch? Here, let me show you how it's done. I don't think I ever realized, I don't know if it's new from the Enhanced Edition, that the character actually spoke when she punched the mannequin.
locusts leave my city! Dragon, the next bam, she was gone. What are you gonna do? Fight or flee? If flee is your plan, let me help you out. I've got a scroll here with a good protective spell. The halfling's armor is splashed with blood, and he is armed to the teeth with a sword, a blade, and a hatchet on his belt. A, a hatchet on his belt and a crossbow on his back. His voice sounds familiar to you. Who is the Skyrie? You must have got a good drum around the head, friend. Discari's a demon lord. The most fearsome enemy of all crusaders and all living things, come to think of it. I've seen you somewhere before. Yeah, you have. You owe me your life. I'm the one who found you outside the walls and brought you inside to be healed. I see they patched you up. Good thing they did it before the attack, or else you'd have been done for. What's the situation in the city? Who knows? Everything's on fire crashing down around our ears. The place is crawling with demons. Looks like a whole army attacked the city. We're sitting ducks. Because Enkriya tries to be, she's practical. She knows, okay, demons are everywhere. Even if I try to run, I'm going to see a demon at some point. So, can you me a weapon? I'll try to fight the demons. Sure thing. Here, take this. Best crossbow I've got. The person who made it. Said it could pierce the heart of a demon lord, even. Good luck! Try not to get eaten now! The halfling's words are drowned out by the terrible rumbling and the rustling of countless tiny wings.
I wonder if that was someone else or if that was the effect of the crossbow that could pierce the, the, the hide of a demon lord or whatever. The silver dragon, Terendeleb, the defender of Canabras, fell in battle. Hardly surprising, as she had to fight the demon lord Discari himself. He willed the land to part and swallow all who dared to stand in his way. But the war was still far from over. And here we go to the official start of the story. Lucky bracers. This I want to see. So we have a feather fall effect on us. What is? Fiendish resistance. Okay. And let's go. 